All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a novel approach to how to solve simple one-step equations. It's not going to be that basic do the opposite of, you know, and undo things and isolate the X. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna kind of use a, a visual approach to kind of conceptually understanding what does that equal sign mean in the equation. So let's get started. And what we're going to do is let's start with something super simple. X plus 2 is equal to 5. And then so what we're going to do is we want students to think of this as like a box plus 2 equals 5. But how are they going to model this pictorially? What they're going to do is they're just going to draw a box to represent, of course, the, the box. And then that plus 2, we're going to draw two circles to indicate our positive 2s. And then our 5 is going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positives like that. And so that is how we're going to model this ex e equation right here. Now the idea is, what does that equal sign mean? What does that equal sign mean? Well, that equal sign means the left side is supposed to look just like the right side. And at this point, it doesn't. Uh, we want this right side to have the same value of the left side. And right now we see that the right side has five, but the left side has these two, but plus an unknown number right here. So we want students to kind of reason that, well, if these two right here are kind of like partners to this over here, these two on the right, well, that means that this box right here must be the same as these three right there. So inside that box represents the three positives, boom, boom, and boom, right there. And that shows us right there, woohoo, uh, that that box must equal three positives. So I'm gonna say X must equal three. All right. And so we're going to just kind of continue with this idea of modeling the expression, the equation, and then trying to reason what does that box have to equal. So let's go uh, next one. So we're going to do x minus 2 is equal to negative 5. So we're going to think of this as x minus, uh, except we're not going to think of it as a minus 2. We're going to think of it as a plus a negative 2 equals negative 5. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the reason we have to think about it as a adding a negative 2, which kind of is equivalent to minusing a positive 2 or subtracting a positive 2. But the, the reason for that is because we want to be able to model it. So what is that model going to look like? Well, it's going to give us a box and then two negatives, and that's going to equal the same as these five negatives on the right. Boom, 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 and boom. So on the left, we've got a box plus these two negatives. And then on the right, we've got these five negatives. So what is the value of that box? Well, once again, kind of that same approach, we see that these two right here are kind of like partners with these two. I could have chosen any two, really. But they're kind of like partners, aren't they? Which means if these two sides have to be the same, that means inside that box has to be three negatives. Boom, boom, and boom. And so all of a sudden we see right here that x has to equal negative three. All right, so now let's keep going. So let's take a look at x minus 2 is equal to 5. So once again, this is a box plus a negative 2 has to equal 5. So I'm going to kind of model that. Pictorially speaking, that's going to be a box. And then we have two negatives. And that's supposed to equal five positives. Two, three, four, five. Five positives. Now at this point, it's kind of hard to see how the left side could ever end up looking like 
the left side could ever look like the right side. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna think about a zero pair because this left side has some negatives, but the right side does not. Now we can't simply just put a couple of negatives right here because then the right side would no longer be equal to five. If all we did was put these two negatives to match these two negatives, the right side is now equal to three because this positive and that minus negative cancel out to be a zero. This positive and this negative cancel out to equal zero, leaving the remaining three. But, but it's supposed to be five. So what are we going to do? Well, instead of just putting these two negatives, we're also going to add in a couple of positives. So really what we did was we added a couple of zero pairs. So this right side is still equal to five. So we haven't changed anything other than just how it looks. We have these five positives plus a couple of zeros. But I can now see that we now have our two negatives that match each other on the two sides of that equal sign. And all of a sudden, it's pretty easy to see that this box must equal these seven positives. So that box has to equal seven positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven positives. And now our two sides of that equation are exactly the same. We can see that on the left, we have seven positives for our x and two negatives. And on our right, we have seven positives and two negatives. So now we know that that x has to equal seven positives. And sure enough, it kind of makes sense. Seven minus two is equal to five. All right, our last example right here. x plus 2 is equal to negative 5. All right, so let's first, uh, that's going to be x plus 2 is equal to negative 5. So what is that model going to look like? What is that picture going to look like? Well, it's going to be an x, our box, and then it's going to be two positives. And that's supposed to equal five negatives. One, two, three, four, five negatives. Now, once again, how are we ever going to get the left side to look like the right side when we've got positives on the left, and but we don't have any positives on the right, do we? So we're going to add some zero pairs. So let's add some zero pairs. There's a zero pair. So technically, we have not changed the value of that negative five. And we're going to add in another zero pair. So we still see that on the right side, everything is equal to negative five. So we have not changed the value of that negative five. And then on the left side, we still have our box and our positives, two positives. And now we can see, hey, look at that. The left side has a couple of positives. The right side has a couple of positives. So those two pieces match. So the rest of our story means that this box has to represent these seven negatives. So that box has to represent these seven negatives. So x has to equal negative seven. And I think I goofed up back here. I did, look at that. I forgot to indicate that the x has to equal positive. Seven. That's what I wanted to do. Let's see, did I do that on the other ones? I did that on that one, and I did it on that one. So there you go. It's a little bit of a novel approach to kind of developing a conceptual understanding of what does that equal sign mean? That equal sign means the left side is supposed to look like the right side, and we're going to use logic to kind of figure out, at this point, we're going to use logic to figure out what does that missing value have to be.